Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy. If I had to guess, she's using him as a rebound, but let's see what the cards have to say, y'all. Let's see what the cards have to say. What is the current energies between Maddie Healy and Taylor Swift? Well, the cards are saying basically what Taylor has said so far. Things are going good. They're madly in love. What else can you tell me about Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy? Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy. Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy. Okay, we have the devil card that popped out. Now, I don't know what Maddie Healy's zodiac sign is. If anybody knows that, then you can sound off in the comments below. But I'm picking up on a Capricorn. I'm also picking up on Leo. Um, so we all know that Taylor broke up with Joe Alwyn. I don't know if Maddie Healy recently had a separation or breakup too, but it looks like the both of them have some codependency popping up. They have some rebound issues, and this is coming from both of both parties, both Taylor and Alwyn. I'm sorry, Taylor and uh, Maddie Healy. They both have some codependency issues popping up. They're not over what has happened to them in the past. The previous people that they co corresponded with. Let's see. What is the devil card talking about when it comes to Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy? Defensive. People's defensive. Taylor could be defensive, overthinking things. Uh, it could also be talking about the both of them. This is what's popping up here. And this is making sense because the devil card does not necessarily mean that Taylor Swift is the devil. It doesn't, nece it doesn't necessarily mean that Maddie Healing is the devil too. This could be talking about the mentality, self-sabotaging the relationship due to the mentality that both of them are bringing inside this relationship the mentality that both of them are operating from which is defensive like a defensive mode they're both on the defense or at least someone is okay so what is let's take a look at them individually let's take a look at them individually and let's see what pops out by the way did you like the video so I want to look at now what is Taylor Swift bringing into this relationship with Maddie Healing? What is she bringing inside this relationship with Maddie Healing? What is her baggage, per se? What is her baggage? Because we all know that she's, she's bringing in baggage. She's still having a hard time moving on from what happened with her and Joe Alwyn. Now, I don't know what Joe Alwyn's zodiac sign is. He's popping up here as being a Scorpio. But she's having a hard time putting this to rest, her past to a rest. Um, she views the potential with healing. Have I been saying healing or Healy? Healing? Healy? Maddie Healy? Maddie Healy. So she views the potential within this relationship but there's something here that's hold, she's holding back. She's holding back. Also, she feels like that there's an injustice that's been done to her by Joe Alwyn. She still has feelings for Joe Alwyn, y'all. She, she has not moved on from him. Taylor Swift is having a hard time moving on from what happened between her and Joe Alwyn. Um, she feels like that there's an injustice that's been done to her. She definitely still thinks about Joe a lot. And I have not looked into Maddie Healy, his past relationship with the women that he's been with, 
that's been involved with, but let's take a look at what he's bringing to the table. What is his baggage? Okay. It's, well, something here has happened. I don't know what it was. Yeah, like I said before, there's something here that's happened with, within his past, too. The tower card is popping out. We also have the six of uh, cups. Something chaotic, something destructive has happened within his love life that he still, he, he, he trips in the past. He's stuck in the past about something. He still thinks about somebody from his past. There's something about Taylor that reminds him of somebody that he used to date or somebody that he used to be with. There's something here about Taylor that reminds him of somebody that he used to deal with. This person could be a Pisces. They could also be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio. But Taylor Swift reminds Maddie Healy of somebody he used to date. What else can you tell me? What is his baggage? What is his baggage when it pertains to Taylor Swift? I know the Swifties are going to be upset with me. They don't like when I talk about Taylor Swift, but I don't care. Y'all already know I don't care. Yeah, this is talking about a broken relationship. Yeah, he's he's having a hard time moving on from something himself. If I have to be honest with y'all, listen, I don't I don't need the cards to read Taylor Swift. And I mean no disrespect towards Taylor Swift, but you have to point out the obvious. This is clearly a rebound from Joe Alwyn. Joe Alwyn was one of her longest relationships, so she needs to take time to heal if she wants things to work out with this new person, with this 1975 band's lead singer. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Not only Taylor, but both of them have some codependency issues and some rebound issues. They're both having a hard time moving on from something that's happened within their past. This is his cards. You know, there's something traumatic. He went through a breakup, and it was not a peaceful breakup. It was actually a very ugly breakup. The million-dollar question, and that's going to be, is Joe... I keep on wanting to say Joe Alwyn. Is Maddie healing and Taylor Swift going to last? And if so, will it be permanent? Will this be permanent for her or not? Will this be a permanent relationship with her or not? No, y'all, no. Just because he's a soulmate does not mean that he's going to be, be around forever. Just because someone is your soulmate does not mean that the two of you were meant to be together forever. A soulmate can be anybody. It can be your mama, it can be your college professor, it can be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your fiance. These people were meant to teach you lessons. And my point being, no, he's not gonna be he's not gonna be around long. They're eventually going to be separated. Someone's gonna be walking away from this. And I give it four months at most four months you know I could be wrong but sound off in the comments below tell me what you think if any of the Swifties are watching what do you think about the latest rumors and accusations I don't even want to say accusations because he admitted to <laughs> masturbating to pornography that humiliates and degrades black women what is your thoughts on that once again, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. And thank you for watching.